Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I am Constance and thank you for joining me in the next episode of my English classes. In this class we're going to be talking about the word subject. So our, wor our topic is vocabulary and the two words that we're going to be discussing today is subject and money. Subject and money. But before we get into the class, I would like to thank all those persons who have subscribed to my channel. Yay! Love you. Thank you for all the encouraging words that you have shown or have expressed to me. I appreciate it. And Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you have a prosperous and a blessed new year 2020. All right. So thank you guys. And I hope all goes well for you this year. So let's begin this class subject and money the thing what is the meaning of the word subject subject has various meanings and it can be used in different ways so the thing that has been discussed considered or studied all right so subject is the thing that has been discussed considered or said or studied so let's look at this um, sentence and see how the word subject has been used. Our subject of discussion is homelessness. Our subject for discussion is homelessness. That means there will be God talking, that person is talking about homelessness. All right? So that is the subject matter. She has been made, she has made a series of documentaries. Sorry about that on unwanted children and family relations. See, I have put two questions in there because something is missing from the sentence. Can you recognize what is missing from the sentence? Let's read it once again. She has made a series of documentaries on unwanted children and family relations. Now, the word subject is missing, but I'm going to add the word subject to the sentence and let you hear how it sounds, how it sounds differently. She has made a series of documentaries on the subject of unwanted children and family relations. See, it is more specific on what subject matter she's going to be discussed or she's going to have in her documentaries all right so she has made a series of documentaries on the subject of unwanted children and family relations so that would be her subject area all right that would be the area for the documentary that she's making number three the lecturer took as her subject the lecturer took as her subject, so she decided to speak about, she took as her subject, so she decided to speak about crime and punishment in modern society. She decided to speak about crime and punishment in modern society, all right? So that would be her of discussion or the topic in which she would be discussing to her students all right or to her pupils all right um, number four the number of aircrafts flying over our town has been the subject of concern since last spring the aircraft that has been flying over our town has been the subject of concern since last spring so people in this community they have some concerns about this plane flying over the area over the community waking up the babies the elderly disturbing those who are going to work or coming from work and need to rest so it's a concern why are they flying over the community they're asking all right what is the reason are they looking for drugs are they looking for criminals or are they spraying the place you know so you have some concern why from last spring that's a long time all right which subject are you studying 
someone might ask which subject are you studying or what subject are you studying you say I'm studying English I'm studying math I'm studying Spanish I'm studying law I'm studying nursing so whatever you are studying studying in college or high school or whatever educational institution you might be in it is considered a subject all right so what subject are you taking up this summer I'm taking up French all right <laughs> all right six books of every conceivable subject can be found in the library books of every conceivable subject can be found in the library what it is saying every book on every topic area can be found in the library so if there if you want a book for how to build a house if you want a book for health if you want a book for agriculture if you want a book about um, appliances if you want a book about cutting the grass you can find it in the library so every conceivable subject can be found in the library so that is what you will call it's the topic that is the subject all right so any any area light if you want to know about light if you want to read about aluminum if you want to read about fruits you can find it in a book in the library all right so here we come to our second word money money is not the root of all evil we need that money to survive to make our lives better, to pay our bills, to pay our health bill, our food bill, our mortgage, our rent, you know, to pay other people to help us, right? So, <clears throat> so here are some words in which we use or how money can be used or called or how, how to express, all right? So money, you can say funds, you could call it dough. Most people on the street call it dough, right? Box. Some that is the next um, street word. Box. Cash. Capital. Right. The bank usually use the word capital, or investors use the word capital. Finances is the next one that they use. Coin. I think in Africa, some places in Africa, they use the word coin. Gravy. Bread, I use the word bread. I'm going to make my bread this morning. I have to wake up early to go and make my bread. So that means I have to go up early to go to work so I can make a living, so I can receive a paycheck. All right, so I'm going to get make my bread. All right, so when you're employed by someone or by a company and you receive payment from that company or you receive your reward, your payment is the reward that you receive for the job well done. Whether it's well done or not, well, I don't know. But the reward that you receive, it is considered a salary, wages, check. I spell check in both the Caribbean, the America spell it, C-H-E-C-K. In the Caribbean, it is spelled C-H-E-Q-U-E. C-H-E-Q-U-E. So it's the same thing. It's check check off something so that's how they spell it you receive payment for cutting the lawn you receive payment for building a fence or to paint a house right so you receive payment you receive pay pay or pay check you receive payment and you receive an income you receive an income all right so these are the words that you could use when you're writing or if you are re, um, in your everyday writing, you could, instead of just using one word, money, 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 you could use cash, you could use capital, you could use funds, right? You could use coin, those, bread, or any one of these words here. So take a keen for look. You know, they might flash in your memory when you're writing your next story or your next poem or your next short story or something of that effect anyway thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this class the roosters blazing thank you for watching thank you i hope you have enjoyed this class please like subscribe and share 
I hope you will join me in my next class. Until then, bye and have a blessed new year. Bye-bye.